Hello lovelies and welcome back. Today I'll be taking you through a gentle yet effective bedtime yoga flow. Feel free to do this on your bed or on your mat, wherever is comfortable for you today. We're going to start in a comfortable cross-legged position. So slowly making your way there, maybe have a bit of a wiggle round before you find some stillness. Once you have found the stillness, closing the eyes down if that's comfortable. Otherwise, just have a gentle gaze to the tip of the nose. Starting to breathe nice and deep into the belly, inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the nose. Feel free to flip the palms upwards so the palms are facing towards the ceiling and backs of the hands are resting on the knees if you want a little bit more uplifting today. Taking a couple more breaths where we are. Calm down the mind. Calming down the body. When you're ready, feel free to keep the eyes closed or you can flick them open. We're going to slowly drop the left ear down towards the left shoulder. Stretching out the right side of the neck. If you want to go a little bit further, feel free to place the hand onto the right side of the head, allowing a little bit of extra weight here. And then shifting your gaze so that the gaze is going towards the armpit, placing the hand on the back of the head if again if you want that little bit of an extra stretch. Relaxing the shoulders as much as you can, relaxing the chest, relaxing the jaw. And then slowly bring in the chin towards the center of the chest, bringing both hands behind the head. Really allow the weight of the head to drop forward. And shifting the gaze over towards the right armpit this time. Again, keeping the hand on the back of the head, if that's the option you're choosing today. And then slowly shifting the right ear towards the right shoulder. Moving it up the left side of the neck now. Again, check in with yourself, see if you're holding tension anywhere else in the body where there does not need to be tension right now. Releasing the hand from the head, drop the head all the way down the back. If you would like to go a little bit further, feel free to walk the hands behind the back, lifting up through the chest. And then slowly coming back towards centre. Placing the left hand along towards the side of your body. Either coming down on the forearm or staying up on the fingertips are absolutely fine, reaching the right hand up and over. Feel free to bring the gaze towards the bottom hand if it's too much on the neck. And then slowly drop the right hand down as if you're trying to reach the left hand. And then walk the hands around out in front of you. Enjoy this hip opener as you extend over to the other side. Again, feel free to have the gaze downwards if that's comfortable. Otherwise, looking up at that top arm, trying to keep the left sit bone rooted into the mat or the bed. And then rising back up to a neutral spine. Changing the position of our legs slightly, you're going to try to bring the soles of the feet together, creating a diamond shape. If you want to, grab a pillow or a bolster, place it just on the feet and then allow in the upper body to fold over. Maybe make a little bit of a pillow with the hand. Resting in this Baddha feel free to round the spine as much as you want here. Completely relax. You find that your mind is wandering. Maybe try bringing it back to the breath. Or any sounds that you may have in the room. Allow the brain to focus on one of these sensations. slowly coming up again to bring the spine nice and neutral, remove any 
pillows or bolsters you may have used, making sure there's enough space behind you. You're going to keep the legs where they are and slowly lay back so that the back is flat on the mat or the bed. If you would like and if it's comfortable, feel free to release the hands over the head. Enjoying this Supta Parakanasana. Really allowing the knees to drop open as much as they can. Continuing to breathe deep in towards the belly. Filling up the lungs. And completely emptying the lungs on your exhale. Slowly start to engage the inner thighs, bring the knees together, lifting the shins so that they're parallel to the floor and then dropping them over towards the left side, enjoying the supine twist. Feel free to hook the right left leg over the left leg to have a little bit of a deeper stretch. If it's comfortable, you can look over the right shoulder, otherwise just keeping the head nice and neutral, looking up towards the ceiling or maybe even close the eyes. and any tension in the back that you may have built up throughout your day. Introducing a little bit of activeness to allow us to go to the other side to engage in the core, squeeze the legs together, bring your legs back to centre. If you had your legs crossed, swapping them over so this time the left leg pops over the right and drops down to the right. Again, feel free to bring your gaze over to the opposite shoulder so it will be looking over the left side. Enjoy this deep twist. And enjoy the feeling of the knees, maybe getting a little bit closer towards the surface as your body eases up, as your body relaxes. Last little bit of activeness. Engage your lower core a little bit to bring the knees back up. And then unravel the legs if you had them crossed over. Bring in the feet so that they're about hip distance apart. A little wider if that's comfortable and then dropping the knees towards each other. Placing one hand on the heart and the other on the belly. Feeling your heartbeat, feeling the breath. Maybe see if you notice a difference in the rhythm and the depth of your breath from when we started. Completely calm in the body now for these last few minutes in our modified Shavasana. Feel free to stay in this position or a full Shavasana for as long as you need tonight before you drift off to sleep.